Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bald Guy Ace, and today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on how to install the mods Forge, Optifine, FiveZig, and Light Loader into your Minecraft. But before I do that, I just want to congratulate the winner of my previous giveaway. Their name is on the screen right there, and you can enter to win $10 million in-game money on Arkham Network Skyblock 1 server by putting your in-game name in the comments below. So in order to install these four mods, you have to go in a specific order. There might be other orders that work, but if you follow this order, it's guaranteed to work. So what you want to do first is download all the files. I will provide the links to the download sections of each mod in the description of the video below. That way you can quickly and easily get to the download sections. So the important thing to note when installing mods is that you use the same version number for every mod that you install. That way you can ensure that they'll be compatible with each other. So for this example, I'm going to go to the Forge website, which is the first mod that we're going to download. And I'm going to use version number 1.10, just because that's a version I don't already have installed. You can use any Minecraft version you want. Just make sure that every mod that you use has the same Minecraft version. That way it's all compatible with each other. So then after you click the version number you want, if you have Windows, you want to click on installer-win, and you'll just click that right there. It'll take you to a page that has an advertisement. Just wait for that advertisement to go through, and then after that advertisement goes through, you can just hit skip, and it will skip this, and it will start downloading. Oh, it looks like it downloaded there. And so now that it did, I'm going to get off this page, and now I'm going to go to Optifine, and you want to download Optifine. The, because I downloaded 1.10 of Forge, I want to download 1.10 of Optifine. The way Optifine's download section is arranged, the top one on each version number is the latest one that's released. So in this case, I'm going to download this one right here, which is 1.10 HDUC1. You can download any version you want. This is going to take you to an AdFly page. Just wait for this to go through and then hit skip on the upper right hand corner here. I hit skip ad. Don't get fooled and click on any of the other things around here. Uh, after you hit skip, it has all these ads. Just click right in the middle here. This is the one that you want to click. If you click something else, you may get tricked and end up going to an ad. It may say this type of file can harm your computer. As long as it says Optifine and then a version number and then .jar, that is the correct file. And so you can say keep. Just make sure it says Optifine, a version number, and that it says .jar after it. So then you have Optifine. So now we have Forge and Optifine. Now we want to download the 5zig mod. Remember, because I downloaded 1.10, I got to stick with that. So now I click here on the 5zig mod. Same thing happens here. It goes to an AdFly page. I'm waiting for the AdFly page to count down to zero and on the upper right hand corner. Remember, don't get tricked here. If you look over here, it says your download's ready. That's just an ad. Don't click that. You'll end up just going to a, a spyware website. You want to only click on the upper right hand corner here where it says skip ad. And that goes straight to the download and so it downloaded here and the bottom left corner of my screen here. So I'm done with this. I can get out of this page as well. So I did that. And that's actually going to take a little bit of time to download, but I'll come back when that's done. And then the last thing to download is Light Loader. The same thing here, because I downloaded 1.10 for all the other mods, I also want to download 1.10 for Light Loader. So I'd go here. Some of them say stable and some of them say snapshot. From what I've noticed, the snapshots are almost as good as the stable version. So it's more important to make sure you download the same version as all the other mods. So even though this says snapshot and not stable, because I downloaded 1.10 for all the other ones, I'm going to download 1.10 here. So I click that, then it gives you the choice here. And so what I want to do here is download the jar file. You get a choice of exe or jar and you want to download the jar file. So I'm going to click that here and it just starts downloading. There's no ads on this site, at least not that I know of. So it just downloads right away. You still might get that message that says this file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep it? Just make sure that it says light loader, installer, and then something else and then dot jar. As long as it says that, then it's the right file. You can hit keep on there. And then we have all the files downloaded that we need. So now what you want to do is is install Forge first. It's important that you go in this, this order. So the first thing you want to do is install Forge. So click on that exe file where you, where you have it saved. Okay, and after you click the exe file of Forge, you will get this screen here. What you want to do is make sure it says install client. It should already know the path of where to install it. And so you probably don't have to change anything there. Just make sure it ends in .minecraft. That's usually the correct uh, folder to install it to. And then you just want to hit OK, and it will install that. It says successfully installed client profile Forge. So now after Forge is installed, the next thing you want to do is actually load up your Minecraft client. The reason that you want to do this is because you need to get your mods folder to appear and it won't appear until after you load Forge once. So what you want to do is load up your Minecraft launcher and then you want to go down where it says profile on the bottom left corner. And when you click that, there should be a drop down window and you want to select Forge. 
this is what Forge would have made for you after you installed it. And you, so you want to select that and you want to hit play. After you hit play, it'll load up. And once you get to the main screen where you can select multiplayer or single player, you can actually close the window. The only reason you wanted to do that is so that Forge will create the mods folder. Now that you have the mods folder, what you want to do is actually go into your mods folder so that you can install the Optifine and Fizig mods. To get to your mods folder, in most people's computers, especially if you have Windows, it will be under your users folder, then your username folder, then app data, then roaming, and then .minecraft. In your .minecraft folder, you should see something that says mods. You just double click that, and then you should be in the mods folder. If you don't see any of these folders, usually sometimes the app data folder is hidden. What you wanna do is go to view, and then make sure that you check off the box that says hidden items. Make sure that that's checked. That way you'll be able to actually see the folders that might be hidden, such as app data. But once you have that visible, you just have to go into your users, username, app data, roaming, dot Minecraft, and then mods. So when you're in your mods folder, you want to drag in the Fizig mod and the Optifine mod. They should both be jar folders, and I'm gonna paste those in now. I already had a previous version in here, but for this example, I have the 1.10, and so these two files are the 1.10 jars. So now that you have those in there, what you wanna do is now run your light loader jar. You don't actually bring the jar file into this folder. You actually want to double click on the light loader jar file. Okay, and then after you double click your light loader jar file, you should have a screen like this that appears. And what you wanna do is make sure that the extend to section or extend from section, you wanna click that window drop down and select 1.10 dash forge or whatever version you selected dash for what you installed for dash forge and then it should already have the right folder selected and then you just hit okay and then you should have light loader installed so after you do that, you should have everything that you need installed and all you have to do in order to make sure that you run all these mods that you now have installed is to load up your Minecraft launcher. And now what you wanna do is select Light Loader 1.10 with Forge. In your case, if you installed a different version for a different client of Minecraft, it would say Light Loader 1. whatever. And you just wanna make sure that it says Light Loader 1. something with Forge and then Forge version number. You just select that, you hit play, and then it works and you have everything installed. Now, in addition to the bonuses of having 5zig and Optifine, because you have Lightloader and Forge both installed, now you can install other mods that work with Lightloader or Forge by simply dragging them into your mods folder. This way you can use things like Macro Mod and Auto Fish. Those are things that work with Lightloader. You can just drag them right into your, your mods folder and then you're all set. So I hope this tutorial helped you out. If it did, it would be awesome if you could click that like button. Also, I'm gonna put a picture of myself in a circle right in the middle of the screen right there. And if you wanna keep in touch with my future tips on Minecraft, or if you wanna see my series on Arcam Network, it would be awesome if you could click that circle and click subscribe. That way you can find out when I post my future videos. And until my next video, I'm Bald Guy Ace, reminding you to embrace the baldness.